Hello everybody, welcome to the NAF Round 16 replay cast of DIVSP. I don't know how you pronounce Davy, Davy, let's say Davy SP. Spanish, I guess, is, well, I don't know if SP stands for Spanish or not, but there you go, he looks Spanish, doesn't he? Uh, with Orcs versus Inco with uh, Lizard Men. And this is going to be a replay cast because this match happened at the same time as the core fool match so obviously did that one live because uh you know it's k fog and uh you know we're, we're buddies and he's the best player in the world so there you go that was always the one i was going to do live but this is interesting to do this one as a replay because this is you know I did a replay before and tried to do it with other people in the booth and it was basically it just goes so fast that i think you know, having it like pause regularly is the thing. So, um, so manager one here with the Orcs is Davy, I think, and uh, he won the toss, chose to receive. He's got a block thrower, which is uh, you know, it makes him good against like the strippers, doesn't it? That don't exist. Very good against the strippers that don't exist. Having a uh, having a sure hands blocker, and I guess he can, you know, with pass he can help for two turns and stuff if you get the chance. Uh, tackler. I really don't see the point in the Mighty Blow, honestly. I feel... I just don't... I don't know. I, I don't really like it. Well, I guess he hasn't got a troll, right? So I guess without the troll, he yeah, he does want a Mighty Blow. And then two guards. So, yeah, okay. Okay. And then uh, the Lizards have got a sneaky git. And only four block. Obviously, five block is the standard. Five block Saurus is the standard for them. But he's got a sneaky git. And also, neither side has an apple. I guess that's a big weakness of the orc, isn't it? He does have 12 players, but no apple. Three rerolls, and uh, manager two there has two rerolls and a 12th player. Um, yeah, this looks a lot worse if you have the graphics on a decent setting, but uh, I don't to make it look worse. And we've gone to extra time here. Okay. So, um, okay, God. Right, so um, yeah, pausing it might have some issues. We might have some issues pausing. <laughs> oh god, I can't be bothered to start the YouTube video again. So there you go. Um, that's something. That's a bug report for Cyanide. Here. Pausing and unpausing causes. Randomly skipping to the second half or overtime. Amazing. Amazing way to find that out. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> yep. Alright. So maybe I'll pause it and go by action. Right? But then it means I've got to like actively do it like this, which is a bit rubbish. And then you've got to play to see actually the result of the block. And then pause it again and then play it. Like it's so much micromanagement to like see it at a decent pace. So I think I'm just going to have to have it go really fast. And then pause it and rewind if something interesting happens. A blockless blitz. Artemis loses his mind. Doesn't keep anyone on these. I think he would have been better here, right? To keep both of these guys occupied. Um, I think that's just better, right? Isolate them. Off. And uh, the pickup fails. There you go. Instant one in nine. And now the... Ooh, no. I thought I thought he was going to go for it, it there with the lizards, but he's not. Tackle's protected, which is good, isn't it? So he can chase after skinks if he wants. Hasn't picked up the two down players. So had he rolled a dub skull there, he'd have had to use one of his two re-rolls. A bit sloppy from manager two. And now picks these guys up. So you know, he's exposed okay there. He's exposed a skink here for no real reason. It'll be interesting to see if uh, manager one goes for the skink hit or if he doesn't bother. He doesn't bother. He goes for Mighty Blow on the defenseless Saurus instead. 
It's actually not such a breakneck pace when I'm on my own, I guess. I guess having somebody else in made it a bit too fast. But this is probably okay for solo. Yeah, this is probably okay for solo speed, actually. I think I preferred having the tackler. I like having this guy here, right? Can pause it. Okay, so I think this guy would have been better here. Just to stop, like, blitzing this one with a crocs or whatever. And then piling through here, like, pile Saurus through. He could have blitzed... Could have blitzed this big one with a with a Crocs, and then piled people through here, which would have been pretty good, I think. But um, you know, he's just going coming around the side here. Keeping the elf screen as it is. Rain a very over, very over this side. He probably didn't need this guy here. Probably better putting him over there where he was. Like supporting this guy so you can't two D him. He's probably the best player. Hello, big Chichi. Yeah, if you if you put him, if you put, what's probably best, right, is to. Okay, I can pause it. So probably what the best position was was uh, one Saurus there and one Saurus there. And then like all of the Saurus are protected from a 2D unless you give up your guard getting hit, right? So that would have been better, I think. One Saurus there and one Saurus there. Like he'd really, he's already got too much over this side. He doesn't need him there as well. This is naff, yeah. Yeah, this is naff. Hello, red hair. That's the knockdown, but he has, now he's got Three Saurus. I mean, he's choosing to go behind the ball. I hate that. He's got four players behind the ball. Which is... Uh, that's a lot of players behind the ball. And Lizards are fast, but it's it's asking for trouble. And also, the Skinks are exposed now by not keeping the line straight. So... Got some problems. He's not taking the bait. He's just going to move up one square. And again, make this mighty blow blitz. Go for total safety so he can accept a dub skull even. No, he can't really accept a dub skull, can he? It's a stun. Hmm. Interesting, isn't it? He probably should have activated the crocs before he did that. To see if he can get the crocs in front. He hasn't blitzed, has he? He just hasn't blitzed at all. And then he would have could have blitzed with that guy or somebody else. So he probably should have moved the crocs earlier. And then he could have uh, decided to blitz with one of these Saurus. Turn five, and he hasn't got much penetration at all, has he? Finally, he nails the skink. Gets lapel. Yes, red hair. Yeah, it's pretty stupid. Pretty stupid indeed. I mean, nobody should take iron hard skin, so it's okay. Crocs. Crocs could have blitzed this, uh, or like somebody else could have blitzed. No, Crocs could have blitzed this guy, right? And then got the Crocs on the ball. Quite like that. Three players over here. So you can block there. So you've got two on three. And then you bring everyone else around and get the Crocs on the ball. Like, this could have been a very strong turn for assaulting the cage. Oh, wow. He one deed with block and dub scold. Without moving this guy first, that's uh, pretty bad. This guy should have moved somewhere, anywhere. 
But there you go. Yeah, Blood Bowl 3 icons are pretty terrible. The only thing wrong with using the Blood Bowl 2 icons is that uh, the Sneaky Git is worse. Like, uh, the Sneaky Git icon is actually pretty good, right? It's like a fucking troll face, it's amazing. Now, the sneaky, the sneaky git icon is actually fucking awesome. <laughs> Has he blitzed? No. Oh, he gets to hit a skink. See, this is the pro this is the thing, right? It's weird, isn't it? He's not even blitzing with the tackler, and I know the tackler wasn't in the right place, but mighty blow's pretty good as well. I don't know. Croc stays down. I, I guess the lizards have been lucky in a way that the uh, orcs haven't actually made any progress over the last few turns. So now they can finally recover these saurus that, you know, ran behind the ball for no real reason. Uh, <laughs> both these saurus can now come back and shore up the side switch a bit. This goes for the uphill on the ball. Versus block was a bit rowdy, but he could have got the one in nine, couldn't he? I wonder if it was better to. Uh, okay, we can pause here. I wonder if it was better to like chain him like that, right? Chain the black orc in there. Chain the black orc in here, and then you know, like uh, blitz the skink. Block the block the saw, splits the skink, and then break through. Rather than just punching this way with tackle, might have been the play to have blit blocked with him, and like chain somebody, one of these two into here, um, or chain him up and then block again, and then chain you know chain him into there or something. Do something to uh, chain into here so you get the block and the blitz and get knock both of them down, and get a bunch of stuff through here. Because turn seven, it's tricky, isn't it? I think that was definitely the play, actually. Because he's gonna, he's gonna find it very difficult to uh, get the stop score done here, isn't he? This is turn seven. I think the chain there was the play. And this. Unbelievably easy to serve the ball carrier. <laughs> Unbelievably easy to serve the ball carrier. Well, it's not what I would have done, but he can just dodge to do it. He's not dodging to do it. Oh, okay, 1D. Same kind of thing. There we go. Wow, that would have been really smart. Thanks, Red Hair. Do you know how, why I thought of that? I'll tell you why. Because I didn't do it in my game as the dwarves versus lizards. I didn't take the same kind of chain push, and I should have done. <laughs> Hello, Keep. This is Nath. <laughs> This is Naf. <laughs> so yeah, no score for the Orcs. Yeah, it's actually very manageable. The, the replay speed is very manageable solo, actually. It's just, it's just not possible to like have any banter and stuff and discuss the plays with somebody else but uh, I think this is a good speed solo it's just it's quite good being at the top of somebody I mean I guess I could pause kind of heavily and I could like I could like have the uh, have the mic as it were and then like you know when I pause it 
that's when they can speak <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> I mean, I have got the I have got the capability to draw on the screen. Yes, I don't think there's any need because you've got a mouse, haven't you? At the end of the day, you don't need to draw a line there. You can just say these three squares. You don't need to draw things or say this square. Hover over this square and say this square. You don't need to like do an X there or anything. Like I have drawn on the screen in in coaching, you know. In in the doing the coaching things, I have drawn on the screen, but uh, I don't think it's necessary. My coaching that I've done a handful of times with zero advertising. Bit stupid, isn't it? I should have. I should have really, uh, really pushed for the coaching, advertising, coaching and everything and done loads of coaching, shouldn't I? But then Blood Bowl 3 made me hate Blood Bowl. But even, even then I could have done it loads more in Blood Bowl 2 than what I did, so... I'm not the sharpest two in the box. Yeah, well that's the thing, I just, I just didn't... You know, I'm not... I'm not a page or a day, but I'm a, you know, I'm just... I'm just a guy who likes Blood Bowl. I'm not somebody who's try to uh, try to do it properly um, so yeah and now it's too late because Blood Bowl 3 is dead <laughs> so now I don't really want to bother doing it properly for that reason so it's a bit tough isn't it like I could make guides for all the races in Blood Bowl 3 and I could you know, try and make a deal about the coaching, but the problem is, I hate just leaving this guy here again. I always hate having having directly behind the front line. I absolutely hate that. I absolutely hate having just someone directly. Now he's got quite, he's got a bit more now, right? With having the Crocs there, to be fair, that like, reinforces a bit. But I generally hate it when people just have the ball directly behind the front line. Hello, cock. Go to table events and I could, I actually could do that, yes. I talked about that when we were there. <laughs> like, you know, obviously tongue in cheek. Um, but yeah, I talked about, I talked about, I could sit there and be like, if anyone wants to give me a hundred dollars, I'll play a game of Blood Bowl with you. <laughs> it's not even a terrible idea, somebody might have done. The only way you'll fucking get me to play a tabletop, I tell you. Oh, he was doing a dodge. I don't know what he was doing there. What the hell was he doing? Was he gonna... What was he doing? Was it a misclick? Was that a misclick? Like, he dodged away. He could have just 2D'd this guy. Oh, did he blitz and then he dodged? Did he blitz then dodge? Okay. Oh, he did the blitz. He had, he had already blitzed the skink. And then he dodged afterwards. And I guess he was going to stand here as well if he could have got there. I don't hate it, I guess. I don't hate it. Obviously, you've got to stand up the Saurus first, uh, the Crocs first. Got to stand up the Crocs first. <laughs> there we go. Oh, wow. He rolled pushes. Wait, he blitzed with the blockless one. He blitzed. He blitzed with the blockless one. Because he had to, right, to get the because of this assist. But he was just just for full pals to get down the field on turn ten. That's just really weird, isn't it? That's really weird. I don't like that. I feel like he should have not done that. That's my analysis for that turn. <laughs> Should have just not done this. It seems funny how how eager the lizard men teams are to run down the field. You know, Dimmy always says lizard men pretend to play a blood ball for seven turns and then score on turn eight. And we've seen a few 
Lizardmen coach has been kind of desperate to run down the field. Um, not what I would do, but there you go. It's just too easy for them to put like intense pressure, Barney. Like, even though they might not want to, it's just it's just so easy for them to do it, and then things can go wrong, can't they? You know, like they can they can blitz a guy and they can put people in, and, and just things can happen then. Air of BB, no, no, jam toast, no, sorry. I'm not going to leave the house. Don't be ridiculous. Oh. Just opens with a 1D. Casual. Then a blockless block. <laughs> this is uh, this is dodgy, isn't it? I feel like lizards shouldn't be. Oh my god! He... Why did he push him there? <laughs> Why did he push him there? Oh god! <laughs> maybe maybe it's playoff nerves for manager two here. This has been a bit of a uh, a bit of a disaster for manager two. Yep. Not the best offensive drive you've ever seen. Is this not <laughs> glorious? Oh, so he's going to try and is he going to try and dodge the tackler? No, he's just going to punch. I didn't hear dodging the tackler here, right? Because dodging the tackler. If we pause it. Um, could have gone one, two, three, four, five, six, and then he could have punched with him, and then like you know, it it just helps, right? You've got you've got two TZs in the ball. You've got to move six guy around, four turns. Like obviously you could fail the dodge, and obviously punching could have done something. But uh, I did quite like trying to you know get the score. Like two skinks are down over here, so you know I'm trying to win this one nil in, in normal time and not not risk the overtime here if I'm the Orcs. Yeah, so instead, like, these are cleared. And he's got another guy around the ball. Steve Motti. Error BB classic. Yeah, see, bros, it was, it was a wild thing, wasn't it? Like, it didn't really make any sense. <laughs> I guess he was down players. But then he became more down players as he did that play. So he, he started off 11 versus 11 and he even made a removal. Like, if anything, it's, it's, the, it's as Dimmy says, the classic. The classic lizard man play of pretend to play a blood ball for seven turns. This could have been a blitz, couldn't it? Why was that not a blitz? Why was that not a blitz? Oh my god. So, we can go back a look. This is quite good. This is quite good, this replay thing, to be fair. So this guy stood up, right? He could have blitzed this fella. Like, he even put in the guard. He even put in the guard. So this guy can stand up. Three, four, five, four. Hit him. Chain him into that. Oh, he, okay. He stood up. He stood up. He's not, he's not stood up. Okay, so it's not as good as I thought. What he could have done is, right, okay. One, two, three, four, five. Mr. Throw could have gone one, two, three, four, five. And then this blitzer could have gone, nah, he needs one more player. Shit. No, he was up. Okay, it just it just messed up. It just messed up. So he was he was he was stood up. Okay, he was stood up. So the obvious player then, right, that was <laughs> this brilliant replay. <laughs> Didn't work properly, but so he was stood up. This guy could have stood up, blitzed him, two dice, chain him to there, and then this guy can surf him. Like, you've got to do that, haven't you? Like, that's so... Like, he's got two guards in. How do you put in two guards, stand him up, and then just block there? Like, you have to you have to go on Surfosaurus. And then that even... Not only is it great because it's fucking surfing, surfing a... Surfing a... Surfing a... It's surfing a... Surfing a... 
And it's also getting your tackler around to get near the ball as well. Like that had that had to be the play. Sorfingosaurus. How did he just do this block? That's that's mad, isn't it? Oh, I hate that. I hate that so so much. <laughs> I hate that so much. That could have been that could have been a soft Cerus. I guess another option was to just uh, drop this Blitzer back so he was on both skinks, right? There's only two skinks left, so he could have had tackle on both of them. That would have been an option too. Because he's basically given up a hope of scoring now because he didn't get through the previous turn. He's got very little hope of scoring now. So maybe, uh, maybe just put tackle on both the skinks. Oh, well, that's pretty big, actually. That's pretty big, isn't it? So what he has to do is somehow... He's got a free blitzer. Oh, so Mr. Throw. This blitzer, who was free, could have come round here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Which then he could have freed this Black Orc. Which then could have come down, then he could have punched him. And then he could have blitzed him. And then he's got the ball free of Saurus. And then this guy can go one, two, uh, you know, and get out. It's turn 30, like he's still got time. Like he, he should be trying to get the ball now, right? He should be trying to get the ball at this point. He stopped the he stopped the score. And he's trying, like, he's made, is this 2D? Oh, yeah, okay, he's got him for the 2D. Oh, he's got him for the 2D anyway, so. Oof, goes for the scatter. Goes for the dodge. Flip me. And uh, he's got four rerolls, so he's he's keeping his rerolls for overtime. Which there's not so much point in this anymore, right? Like with Kekwadi, saving rerolls is better. Um, without Kekwadi, yes, you want rerolls for the for overtime, but you know if you can win in normal time, you do. So there's not the same motivation to save rerolls, and obviously Manager Two is out of rerolls. Um, but yeah, I would have liked to have freed up that that orc. Try to get, try to free up this with them, and not be dodging with that guy. And now, obviously, with three saurus around the ball, I don't think, I don't think Manager One will be able to get the touchdown here. And as seeing as I tried to pause the game earlier and we saw it was overtime, we can be pretty certain that he's not going to score as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh, I did a GFI. Yeah, really need to get that surf and he I think he I think he should have been he should have like, you know, switched gears to trying for the score earlier. Um than he did. I didn't really he did he did he did he did that dodge I guess which was Going more for the score, but I think he he should have recognised earlier that the uh, that the lizard man threat was basically gone, and you know be doing everything he could to try and get his own score. But now, wait a minute! He really just did that. So it's turn fifteen. And he didn't GFI, did he? The skink didn't GFI. No, he did. They just dice didn't come up. Okay. But he double GFI'd to not go anywhere. I guess he can chain himself, maybe? He can maybe chain himself. Okay. He gets not good anyway. Right. Well, that's the end of that. So one injury and three kills. Icon's not working properly. 
Another KO and two KOs for the Orcs. Oh, turn 15, so yeah, he was GFIing to get in range. Correct. Probably could have remembered. Maybe don't re-roll right with three. I think keeping three for overtime, the fact it's going to be a full half. Yeah, exactly, c -Rose. Yeah, he, he just didn't... He was just like still just kind of like playing defense, right? He should have he should have made the switch to, to offense once uh, once the ball was miles away from the uh, stinks. Uh, I'm not feeling optimistic because Andre's going to be a very tough match. Andre is going to be a very tough match in the, uh, in the quarters. Mm. Well, you know, the thing is, Zebras, we don't know... Um, you know, we don't know anything about the coaches, right? We know, we know some of them, like Andre. And... Uh, K Fog and Devo and Delac, but most of the coaches we don't really know anything about. And you know, they could be uh, primarily table toppers or whatever. So just might not have be that experience. Could also be battling with a client as well, of course. You know, you can't underestimate that. I remember when I played uh when I played Incesticide in the early days of Blood Bowl 2 and it was torture, like it was so bad playing the opponent as well as the client it was just so horrible whereas like I could get away playing it when I was just playing against the client but when there was an opponent as well it was it was horrible oh my god his KO results the KO results he like failed them all Made one, failed four, and made one. Wow, and the Orcs made both. That's insane, isn't it? Yeah, but even if you practice sea rolls, you know, you're not going to be the same as like someone like Art who's played loads of games, right? So. Olivier Delac played loads of games, hasn't he? Andy Davos played loads of games. So, you know, even if they're practicing a little bit, they're not going to be uh, they're not going to be on their level of familiarity with the client, are they? And I mean, you say that if you, you you're going to do that if you turn yourself into a ton with that client, but just a bit of fun, isn't it? Just a bit of fun. It's not like you know. It's not like. Uh, Everyone's like, rah, rah, rah. This is the most important tournament in my life. I've got a chance of winning five grand. No no event could be bigger. You know, this could just be naff. People who are like, ooh, a naff tournament on Blood Bowl 3. Yeah, I'll give it a go. And, you know, that's as much as they've thought about it, right? Looking at the fact that we only got four underworld coaches or six underworld coaches, whatever it was, that's probably how most people looked at it. <laughs> um... Yep, we've got Manager 1 with the Orcs and Manager 2 with the Lizard Men. I knew what the matchup was in the previous uh, screen. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, and he rolls a one -er. And, you know, there's not been much to say in overtime. There's like, there's no Lizard Men. <laughs> so it's just, it's just a massacre, isn't it, basically? That was a bit lax, right? Maybe you should have made that 3D. Maybe you should have done something like, you know, a, a different 2D or whatever, or made it a 3D, or done something rather than just a 2D there. I don't know. Yeah, it's got the ball now. It's got the ball on Mr. Throw. And he's got all the time in the world. He's just got to worry about the 5 plus dodges, right? He has to worry about the 5 plus dodges, so. 1, 2, 3. Okay. Okay, well. 
the player here for the lizards. Was. <laughs> um, hmm, toughen it with him having tackle. Very well positioned tackle, actually. Hmm. So the best thing would be to just make three dodges, one, two, three dodges through tackle. Which is brutal, isn't it? And then this is an uphill because he's, oh no, no, it's just a 1D. Um, so then you 1D this guy, chain him to there, or back, chain him back on a pow, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, GP. Yes, yeah, so that was the play, right? The play here was, he stands up, one, two, three, or maybe like one, two, three, four, five GFI GFIs, and it's two dodges and two GFIs rather than three dodges because it's tackle. So maybe run all the way around here, double GFI in, make this block, and one D him, chain him out to there, and then the, the Saurus goes one, two, three, four, five, six GFI GFI, hit the ball, and then you know, maybe you've got a chance, but like. I think that was the play because I think you're just going to lose if, like, you know, your your five guys try to fight his full team. Whereas if you knock the ball down in his backfield, maybe you can, uh, you know, something can happen and you can get all of your KOs back. <laughs> You've got so many KOs. The Artemis Black, boy oh! Hello, Sans Like It. Hello, Artemis people. Artemis, Artemis followers, the worst, uh, the worst kind of people in Blood Bowl, of course. <laughs> so ter such terrible people that fine, upstanding citizens like Starfer it will flat out refuse to admit that they are an Artemis follower. <laughs> A casual eighteen-hour stream. Yep, yep, that's Artemis. What a mad ass. Uh, so yep, this is. I mean, this is pretty much over now. This uh, this match, uh, the lizards. The lizards failed all of their KO rolls. <laughs> so they, they just they had no players, and Ball got surfed. Oh, no, no, it didn't get surfed, but it knocked over in the sideline, scattered in. So the throwers got it. So it's basically over now. It's just the orcs are, just have to stop like the five plus dodges, right? That's all they have to do. All they have to do is try and soar for the service. And they'll be alright. So yeah, this is pretty, uh, pretty much done. How's your 18 hour stream? What a, what a mad one. So, yeah, there's nothing. You just, I mean, it's, really, it's really simple, isn't it? Like, they're, they're Adj 1. They are fast and strong, but, like, it shouldn't be too hard to uh, make sure you're safe from Saurus things. I guess you could have like a Saurus Blitz. Uh, yeah, here we go. Crocs, Blitz, and Mark. I guess. It's actually taken him a, quite a while to get upfield, hasn't it? Because because Mr. Throw is so slow. <laughs> Mr. Throw is so slow. That, uh. But I guess you just need to double mark this, the Crocs, right? Double mark everybody. And you've got the players to just double mark everybody as well. Yeah. I don't know, like maybe dodge and blitz. Base the ball. 
It's not great, is it? It's not great. Just do random one days. Being able to drink my tea, that's the only bad thing. So this this one D was was pretty good. Then he could have dodged with a crocs and blitzed and based the ball or something like like basing the ball with a crocs is pretty much the best thing he could do. Which isn't great. But I think it was the best he could have done. He could have just hit from one lower right and then had another guy on the crocs and then hit the crocs. Uh, this is like the Black Oak pitch, I think. The reason that the pitch looks like this is because all of the graphic settings have been turned down. <laughs> the only way to make Blood Bowl 3 bearable is to make it look <laughs> objectively crap. <laughs> <laughs> Which then makes it look a bit cleaner than uh, than you know if you have it on the higher the higher graphics. It's it's a funny old thing, isn't it? Blood Bowl three. There you go. Turn twenty four. Replay is over. And uh, do continue. Will that go? No, that doesn't continue. That's just, just you just stay here forever. You've got to go main menu. <laughs> main menu actually continues. Continue does nothing. So it was Divy SP. I've really got no idea. DIV DIV. Let's go with DIV. DIVSP with the Orcs gets the win over in Q. Is it in core in Q? In Q. Uh, there you go with the lizard men. So, um, is it in core? I can't really tell. Hard to tell. In core in Q, one of the two. Uh, commiserations to him. Congrats to DIV. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.